everyone. Let me know if everybody can hear me and let me know if you've seen the slide. I'm going to start the presentation here today because I'm going to have to cut today a little bit short. I would normally speak for one hour. Today I'm only going to be speaking till about 5.05 .05 because I am on a Ameritrade uh, network at 5.10. So I may not get through this whole thing, but I'm, I'm probably going to try to get through it and go a little quicker today. Anyone that's here is welcome to email me though because I'm, I'm doing a shorter version today. If you'd like a trial to the live trading room for the rest of the week, feel free to email me at melissa at stockswoosh.com and then I can email you the trial. And if you wanna go watch me on Ameritrade, just go to Ameritrade.com's website um, and they have their shows live because I'm gonna talk about the market today. I'm on about 510. But right now I'm gonna talk about earning $1,000 a day trading gaps. All that I do is trade gaps. That's how I read the market, that's how I read stocks, that's how I predict the directional bias of every single trade that I take. And again, if you have questions, you can feel free to write it in the room and Kathy can put, if you can put my information, my email in the room as well. So I guess, you know, a lot of people, some of you I recognize that I've seen here before in prior webinars, um, when they come to me, they have traded in the past, okay? And they're really just kind of back and forth and most likely losing. And I always say to people, listen, if you're losing money and if you're not making money in the market, then you've got to change something that you're doing. Whatever you're doing isn't working. You know, I mean, at the end of the day, it really comes down to the strategy that you're using or lack thereof when you're trading if you're not making money and if you're not successful, okay? So if you have time between 9.30 a.m. and 10 a.m., that is when I focus on trading. If you've got that time each day, it's Eastern time zone. If that fits your schedule, you'd be able to trade my method. I'm also in and out of trades very fast for the day trades. Now I made hold options, but the day trades I'm in and out quick, okay? So these are the things you have to ask yourself if this fits your schedule. I also trade from home. Now a lot of people are working their jobs from home because of COVID in the last year and a half. Today the market was spooked because of the fact that the market thinks that there could be another sell off. Uh, I mean, uh, another shutdown, which preempted the sell off today. But if you're thinking about trading, whether you want to do this full time or whether you want to do this part time, you can earn money in the market. It is possible. I have people with, that have been with me for years now uh, because I've had the business for almost 10 years. I think one of the reasons, though, that people fail, the biggest reason that people fail is that they simply do not have a good strategy and they don't focus on just one thing. You're never going to get good at one thing if you focus all over the place. So focus on one thing is one of the reasons I'm successful and the strategy that I do works. So again, you must have a strategy to make money. So what is my strategy? It's gaps. What is a gap? This is a chart today of the diamonds, the DIA, okay? We gapped down today as I was earlier, I was saying. We closed here and opened at a different price down. That's a gap. Friday, the market closed at four o'clock and opened this morning at 9.30, lower than where it closed. This is a gap down. The market also, and stocks gap up. Back here, this was about a week and a half ago, market gapped up, closed here, gapped up. Closed at one price and opened the next day at 9.30 a.m. at a different price, a higher price. So this is a bullish gap, this is a bearish gap. Everybody with me so far? And again, that is what a gap is. So we're just going over the basics right now of what a gap is. So how do I know which gaps to trade? Well, I developed a, a method and a system to determine which is the best pick and then in what direction to trade it. So what, what did we do today? We shorted the diamonds today. Actually, that's what we did. And again, I see some people coming in late. If you have questions, you can plop them in the room. So you can make money in the market. People do it all the time. However, not everyone does. Why? Because they don't have a consistent strategy. And again, consistency is what counts. You may make money on Monday or Tuesday or Wednesday and then lose money Thursday and Friday that you made earlier in the week. Consistency means you're constantly moving forward. You take 10 trades, eight win, two lose. You gotta be moving forward, up, up, up. Your count should be growing, not losing. And a lot of times, like I said earlier, people are losing money in the market and then they just get stuck, stuck in a rut doing the same thing over and over, even though it doesn't work, even though they're losing money. 
I was talking about this earlier today. People are in these chat rooms. These free chat rooms are all over the place. They're downloading apps and the Reddit chat rooms, and they're losing money. They may get one good idea out of 150, and the one good idea uh, makes money, and the other 149 ideas lose, but they can't get out of these chat rooms. I mean, it's really interesting to me how people get so stuck into doing something, even if it doesn't work, okay? When I'm losing a trade, I never give up on my strategy. I never say, oh, forget it. This doesn't work anymore. Sometimes trades lose. That's just what it is. If every single trade that I took worked, guess what? I never have to size myself. I rest my whole account in every trade. That's crazy. No one can ever do that. Every trader that's ever traded the market has some trades that don't work. That's the odds of the game. But you have to have more winners than losers. And that's how you consistently move forward. And the only way you're going to have that is if you have a strategy that works consistently. Okay, so you've got to overcome some of the obstacles if you have obstacles that are in front of you to get ahead. They may be emotional, they may be physical, they may be financial. Uh, they, again, they may just be mental in your head where you're actually working against yourself to be successful. And those are the easy ones to fix people. Really, it's just changing your mindset, believing that you can do it. When a lot of people really believe, start to believe after a certain number of weeks and months and years that they can't do it, that it's impossible to make money in the market, but that's not true. You've got to fix your mindset if, in fact, it's negative, okay? Because you want to be positive. You don't want to spend time doing something if you think you're going to lose. You want to spend time doing something if you believe that you're going to win, all right? Don't go into the market and risk money if you think a trade has a 50-50 chance of working. That's poor odds. 50-50 is crap odds, okay? You need to have high odds. That's why I'm looking at a lot of things every day when I'm making the trade determinations. So in order to become successful, you have to be serious, and that means learning from someone and taking direction, which a lot of people are, you know, find my uh, calls in the road about the market, about specific things we did today, like we did the diamonds. I mean, many people find a lot of things that I say very, very valuable that are in the live trading room. And sometimes I do videos as well for the people in the options newsletter too, uh, which is another subscription service that I offer. But you know, when you have a mentor, when you have someone to go to and you have someone that you can ask questions to really is beneficial, particularly if you're, if you're on the fence or if you're feeling that 50-50 feeling. You want to run it by someone. You know, you run it by me if you come and you want to be part of the group. But if you decide you want to come and learn from me, there's a cost up front to take my class. There's a cost up front. It costs you money to do my class, but it really saves you money in the end because you will learn how to train and you'll learn how to focus and trade smart. Again, I also use stops. That's something else that I teach in the class. You must have a stop. Now, there's a gentleman I know in the trading room, he's not using stops, and I warned him. I warned him he needs to use them. He's done the class, but the fact is that every single trade that I do has a stop. Why? Because if that one trade loses, I don't wanna have an endless amount of losses. You have to confine your losses. That's another thing too. Almost every single trade that you take should have a fixed risk, okay? So success or failure has everything to do with the quality of your system, in my mind. And I really feel like I've, I've lived that, you know, in, the, in, in what I'm doing. So how can you become successful day trading? The number one key ingredient to becoming successful as a trader is having a specific system and strategy that can offer you reliable and consistent profits on a regular basis. Because again, that is what you want, the consistency. Trading success and financial success in the market is by pure design. It's not a crapshoot. It's not by accident. You can't take pot shots at stuff. And getting back to what I was saying about these chat rooms, that's what people are doing. So what does it take to be successful? It really takes having what I describe as a niche. So my niche really is doing gaps, but I will, I will tell you as well, my niche is also that I'm an expert in shorting. I'm an expert in shorting. That is what I focus on, okay? And if you want to trade like everyone else out there, your results will be like everyone else. So guess what? You can't do it. If you want to have an outstanding results in your trading, then you need to be different. The focus, the niche. Okay, that's what I've made a career off of. And you need to grab hold of what works and learn from a trader who has a special talent for reading the market. That's actually me. Learn a methodology and a system that is unique. I have a unique method and strategy that I trained, which I alone created, and my method is based on reading institutional money that moves stocks in gaps. And we're going to talk about institutional money here in a minute. I see some people signing in late. Again, if you have questions, you can plop them in the room. 
Just so you know that people are signing in late, I must sign off today as, as close as possible. I'll try to hang on till 5.10, but I'm on at 5.10. Um, and if you're interested in the trial to the trading room, because I have to be done early tonight, just email me at melissa at the stockswoosh.com. Anyways, getting back to what I was saying, I devised a rating system. The rating system is called the Golden Gap Rating System. I go through a checklist, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and I go through and rate my gaps every single morning. That's how I figure it out. What am I looking for? Large institutional money. What? Who is creating that gap? Is it retail traders? Is it institutional traders? The ones that I pick, like today, like the things that we shorted today, like the diamonds, are create. But that that gap was created with large institutional money. It was selling, selling came in overnight from Friday into this morning. It happened, boom. Actually, we were down last night. The futures were down on Sunday night. So we had selling come in. Again, fears of another COVID lockdown. So institutional selling made the gap down in the market today. It is what is called a professional gap. The professional gaps that happen and play out in stocks are formed by one thing and one thing only, large institutional money. Now, does that mean you can short every gap down? No. Does it mean you can buy every gap up? No. You have to pick the good ones. Sometimes they reverse. Um, and so you have to be very, very aware of that so you're not doing those ones that are the reversals. You need a way that will help you pick the correction to play the gap. And you may say, well, why do I, why do I want to focus on uh, you know, gaps in the first place, okay? I want to focus on gaps in the first place as a way to trade, as a method to trade, because they move big. And if you're one individual, whether you have a small account or a big account or a medium sized account, again, what everyone thinks is a big, big size account is different, but you know, you're gonna make more bang for your buck if you get momentum and big, big, big movement. So again, I don't care if you're risking a small amount or a big amount. The benefit of doing gaps is you get big moves and momentum. That's why I like to do them, all right? Now let's go over here again, what is a gap? This is Amazon. <clears throat> this gap down here today as well. Stock close here, gap down, open, fell. Okay? So this is Amazon, gap down. Closed at one price the night before, open at a different price the next day. Over here is a gap up. Closed here at 4 o'clock, open up here at 9.30 a.m. at a different price. So this is a bullish gap. This is a bearish gap. Up here is a bullish gap. Closed here, gapped up, fell a little bit. Closed here, gap down, bearish gap, rally. So you see here, you could not have shorted this gap down. That's what it was, but you couldn't have shorted and made money. Today is a different story, okay? Here is the example again of the diamonds. Closed here, gap down, fell, boom, okay? So again, gaps have momentum. You can see the momentum here and today. You can see it, it's a big fat red bar. What is that? It's selling, it was institutional selling, okay? So I created a method to rate and qualify each of these gaps that I see and I'm doing it in the pre-market. And, and the title of the webinar again is earn a thousand dollars a day. Quite frankly, you can earn thousands of dollars a day, unlimited. It really is just about how much you're risking, okay? It's, you can see here by the fatness of this bar and how we fell today, all right, $4 plus, you can see how even if you had only a 1,000 shares, what you would have made, okay? You would have made way more than $1,000. So you're looking for large institutional money. Gaps are an event, and they create a sense of urgency. Hurry, hurry, hurry. We have to buy this or we have to sell this, whichever the case may be. So because of the sense of urgency, an action is being forced by participants of the stock. This is why gap trading is incredibly powerful. There's a, an event, okay? There's a big move, and it's also happening how? By what? By institutional money that's controlling the stock, controlling the gap. And I termed my system the golden gaps because it's like finding gold in the market, really. Like today was a great example. So today we shorted the diamonds in the trading room, and I called a bunch of puts because I knew that we would sell off today. Now again, not every gap down can you short. In fact, this is the first time that I've been, I, I've had a short in the market in a long, long time. Can't even tell you the last time we shorted the market, all right? Any questions here so far? Let me know. 
Anyways, the whole point of trading is to find a solid system that makes sense. And again, if you're losing, you probably don't have a good system. Now, maybe you say, well, I'm losing because I have bad exits or bad money management. Well, that might be true. But if you had a good system, you'd probably make money anyways, even if you screwed up your own money management, unless you just never got out of any trade that you were ever up in, <laughs> which I have a hard time imagining that people would do. You know, you have more winners than losers. It's going to be really difficult for you to lose money. Why, well, theoretically, that's possible. Uh, I mean, if you're taking trade after trade after trade after trade that's positive, you're probably going to make money. So if you're losing, you probably don't have a system that has a lot of winners. And again, that's key. Any questions here so far? Hello, am I talking to myself? Um, so what I wanted to do was to go over the last week of trades. I'm not talking to myself good. Before I do that though, I'm gonna just, before I'm just hang on one second. I'm gonna skip to the end of the lecture because I, in case we run short of time. If, if, if you're interested in the class and more information, I'm gonna give you my information here at the end and tell you the class dates. And then I'm gonna go back and we'll go over the trades because if, if we run out of time, I want you to have the information. So if you're interested in the class, uh, the class is this weekend, July 24th and 25th. I'm skipping to this now because I'm going to go back over the trades for the last week. So if we run out of time and I have to go on TV, you'll at least got that. The class is online. It's $69.99 US dollars at seven grand. Email me if you want to sign up for it. Um, and then I'm doing a earnings season special, which includes the trading room and the gap options news that are free through Labor Day with the class this weekend. Okay. So if you want to sign up, email me. You must email me for sign-up forms. It's a good time to trade. I mean, today alone was just a fabulous day. All right, let me go back to the last week here, and then we can just go till, till we're done. Any questions so far? Okay. Let's go back to a week ago was BA, July 13th. Okay. So let's take a look at, well, again, these are all the day trades for the last week. BA closed here, gap down, fell, boom. So this was last Tuesday. Everybody see it? We shorted this. It was a good one. What did we do? We shorted this 233.05. Share quantity, this is an advance risk. Just so you know, 1300. Risk was 27.95. Exit 230.85, boom. Profit, if you risked $27.95, you could have you flipped it around, $2,860. So how much would you have had to risk in order to make approximately $1,000? Well, you could have taken half that size or a little bit less. You could have taken 500 or 600 shares, okay? So I'm always looking for one over. If I'm risking 1,000, I'm looking for 1,000. I'm risking 2,000, I'm looking for 2,000. That's a good trade to me, okay? So BA fell, we shorted it, got the drop. Again, this was on Tuesday the 13th. Everybody with me? And you see this continue. So the fact that it continued, I just look to do my day trades. I get in, out, in, out, in, out. That's what I do every single day. That's what we did in the diamonds today. I did not hold the diamonds trade all day in my day trade. I wanted to get out. I wanted to take the profits, okay? Any questions here so far? Wow, this is a really quiet group tonight. <laughs> All right, that was Tuesday. Then the 14th, we did BAC, okay? So the 14th was here, take it up, closed here, gap down, fell, boom. This is BAC, okay? Bank of America. We shorted this too. These are all shorts, people. Entry was 39.20, risk 2,700. This is 9,000 shares. Again, you must have the buying power to take this position. What if you don't? I don't think this is expensive. Take half. Take 1,000 shares. Either way, stock dropped. Again, we had an early exit on this, but it was a nice trade, 
You could have made 4,050. Get a good entry on this. I'm gonna go back to the chart. Here's the day. Look where it went. It almost got to the dream target. So we had an exit all the way up in here. Again, I like to get in out, in out for the day trades. Boom, 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 boom. But anyways, look where it went. You could have made a heck of a lot more if you held it down. This was a nice, nice move. Okay. So that was on Wednesday. Okay, Wednesday of last week. Then on Thursday, no trades. So again, sometimes I will go and I will not have any good trades and then I won't do anything. I rate the gaps so they don't rate good enough to do, then I don't do anything, okay? Sometimes that's what it is. This is another part of trading. You wanna trade, you wanna make money, but this isn't Miss Pac-Man. It's not a computer game. You have to be very disciplined with what you're doing. If you take a trade and you lose money, then guess what? Then you just have to make up the ground tomorrow or chase your tail the rest of the day. We're in a busy season right now. It's pretty busy, but there wasn't anything I liked last Thursday. Then on Friday, we did the QQQs. Let's find it in here. Take it out. Closed here, gapped up, fell. We actually went long the Qs. We stopped, lost in this trade. Here's the trade. This was a day trade again, 362.20, boom, stopped on this, lost 22.50. This is right, almost right out of the gate. It was Friday morning, gonna go back. We went long this, here's the day. You can see this fell on the day, it didn't rally. So I had the stop in, we got stopped. And again, this is why you have a stop in, why? What if it kept going and you just never got out? You look how much you would have lost. You have to have a fixed risk. So we lost on this on Friday, and then I did Netflix short, and it was a good one. This is Friday Netflix, stock close here, gap down, fell, boom. I had a good exit in this. It was early, but it kept going, went to the dream target. Again, this is Friday, July 16th. So we shorted Netflix, 539.10, risk was 25.60, which was 800 shares. Again, in advanced risk, you can take 100 shares. Whatever fits the requirements for your account. You could have done an option in this if you didn't want to do a day trade because of the cost. Exit 534.90. Again, this was this fell off a cliff on Friday. I don't know, remember if it broke 530, but it had a huge move down. Profit was 3,360. So you see, we took the cues, got stopped, took a second trade, worked, covered the loss from the first trade, made money on the day. That's it. End the day. Done. In and out in and out. Again, trade of their work or it fails. Then today we did the diamonds. So this is the last week. We shorted this. It was a beautiful move. Entry 341.60, boom. 2,500 shares. Risk was 3,000. Exit 339.45 and you see where this went. I'll go back and show you in a second. This is a fast one. In and out, boom. 5,375, but it was a beautiful, beautiful trade. I just want to show you here where this went. It actually went all the way down and it actually broke 338. But we got out way early, which I thought was still a good quick exit. But day trading is you're chunking it out. You're booking the money. You're not holding forever. This hold, 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 hold. That is, you know, long-term investing. That's not what we're doing here. We're active, active traders. So this is an advanced trader risk for the whole week. The last week, you could have made 13,395 with one loser. So one, two, three, four, five trades, one loser. With nice, nice week, 13,395, okay? Any questions from anybody so far about anything I've said so far? So this is about an 80% win ratio doing the day trades. Do you have to risk an advanced risk? No, but you can see here if you cut the risk in half, which you would have made in one week, you would have made more than $1,000 a day, okay? So if your goal is five grand a week and you would cut your risk in half, risk about you know, 12, 1,300 in all these trades, you would have made about six grand last week. So it's, it's a process 
when you're going through and it's all about the pick. You get the right pick, you're making money. You get the wrong pick, you're losing or you're chasing your skirt the whole rest of the day. And sometimes what happens is people end up digging themselves a hole, okay? And so, I, you know, I'm in the mode where I'm very, very focused on what I'm doing. And like almost nobody tells me anything different. Like if somebody says, oh, I like this, and I'm like, I don't like it. And that's it, I'm not doing it, okay? So I'm very, very honed in on what I like and what I don't like. But that actually helps me train. So how do you make good choices? Follow the system. Don't make up and change it and switch it. I get up, I rate the gap. It rates 20 points or more, I'm doing it. It doesn't, I'm not. Boom, that's it. So how do I find quality trains? I scan in the morning, make a watch list, rate them. Use my system to do it. You have got to get the entry. We don't enter in the pre-market. I wait for the setup, like today. We waited for the setup in the market. It came and we did it. It might not have come. It might not have come, but it did. So the nice thing about having a system is not only you know what to do in the morning, you're not scrambling, what should I do today? It tells you, oh, I can do this today. Then you know. So the system tells you how, what, and when. How do you make money in the market? Trade a strategy and system that's profitable. Simple. But you gotta learn one. That's the process. Coming to me, learning from me, asking questions. I just hung up the phone and somebody today that called me this afternoon, she, she was, I got out of this, I got out of this, I got out of this, I should I hold this, I don't know. I mean, sometimes people know what to do. She's like, I know what to do, but I just hesitate. You know, trust yourself, trust yourself. It's a process, it's a process, all right? Even when you're learning, the process is going through the trust for yourself. Golden gaps are a highly profitable strategy because they focus on large momentum to trade. Again, that's how you're gonna make money as one individual, even if you have a big account. And to be honest with you, 5,000, 6,000, 7,000, that's still, even though it's an advanced risk for an individual day trader, that's still small potatoes when you look at the amount of volume or shares that institutional traders are trading. Okay, you're not gonna move a stock with 9,000 shares unless you're trading crap stocks or penny stocks or low float stocks, which I don't do. Or we're never trading anything like that. Everything we do is volume and everything we do is companies that you know. So what stocks should you trade? If you come and you learn from me, you will rate the gaps in the morning Go through the picks, listen to what I have to say in the room. Stocks at gap and rate 20 points or more for the Golden Gap 26 point rating system is what you will focus on and nothing else. You won't deviate. And we're always taking the gap in the direction of the gap. That does not mean that I reverse it. I don't. It does mean I may rate something and it may rate poor. It may rate 15 points and I say, oh, this isn't going to drop today. A gap down, it's going to rally. Then we don't do it. We don't short it. But I also don't go long it. Okay. So when am I looking to trade them? Again, we talked about this earlier, between 9.30 and 10 a.m. Eastern time. Early in the morning, boom, right on the open when they set up and trigger, if I can get the setup. If I don't get it, I don't do it. So I always have a couple of things that I like to watch in case I don't get the setup in something, all right? So again, how much do you have to risk per trade in order to get hit this number? Approximately $1,000 a trade. You know, you can bump it up, you can take it down if that's your goal. There are some days we may do more than one thing. That's rare, but it can happen. We could have done a couple things today. I was easy today. I didn't do a, anything, only one thing in the day trade room today because it was Monday, you know, starting out the week, but you know, it was there. And we did a bunch of options trades today. I think it's easier to manage the options than the day trades because you have more time with the options. Any questions here so far from anybody? Let me know. Now's your time to ask me questions. Okay. So, how do you get to your goal? If it's $500 a day, $1,000 a day, whatever, how do you get to your goal? Common sense. Make good choices. I don't think people are making good choices in those chat rooms. In fact, I think they're making bad choices. They don't know why they're doing trades and they're taking ideas from strangers and they have no idea what they're doing or who these people are. And they don't care whether they win or lose either. Just because someone is your friend in the chat room doesn't mean they have any clue at all how to make money. You've got to make good choices. You have to be smart. I know that sounds like common sense, but quite frankly, many traders don't make good choices and they don't act intelligently when they're making choices and they're making choices about their own hard-earned money. So, you know, 
you need to look at it in a very serious manner. Have a plan of action. You're going to do this trade, this trade, this many trades a day, this many trades a week. You're going to get out by this time of the day. Boom. You're going to put the stop in. Boom. Have a good system. Again, I only use my own system. I created it. I'm very good at it. I've been doing it now for almost 13 years. I don't do anything else. Take quality trades. Take quality entries. <laughs> if you don't get the entry, you're not doing it. Even if you love the gap, if it doesn't set up, you can't chase it. And don't over trade. I'm pretty good about this. The best days I ever had is when I have the, the, the best quality gap and I'm in with size and I usually do one thing and the worst days I have is when I get in a spiral and I've had bad days this year where I'll do four or five trades and that's over trading really to me some people trade all day I think it's crazy but you know everybody has a bad day once in a while but it's extremely 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 important not to over trade and that's why I also like to stop in the morning once I'm up and get out because you can really get into a bad habit if you're trading all day long I think people tend to give money back later in the afternoon or even late morning, you know, and, and, and that's that's problematic because the market closes at four. That's it. All right. So don't be piggish about targets if you've got your goal in for the day. So if your goal today was a thousand dollars and you did the trade I called, you hit it pretty fast. You could have held it down. Boom, boom, boom. And again, if you held it all day, you made more money. But who's to say? There's no guarantees in the market at all. So that's why if your goal is a thousand dollars and you're in it, you can bar by bar it. Watch it, watch it, watch it. You don't have to kill it, but you're bar by barring it. Down, down, down. Okay? So you've got to look at it like you're chunking it out. Chunk it, chunk it, chunk it. Okay? You will have some trades that lose, but that's okay. If you look at it like an overall weekly period, monthly period. Okay? Anyways, it's a system that is consistently reliable, and it helps you with the fake outs. Um, I think this morning was a fake out for the market. People thought it was going to rally and pull back. We were down a lot. It didn't work. We fell. But, you know, it's very interesting. I'm not going to say where the market's going to go tomorrow morning because I don't know where we're going to get. I have no idea. I did see how we closed. Too far away now. The market's volatile. Volatility is here to stay. I will say that. So you've got to know what you're doing, but I think you have to know what you're doing all the time anyways. One of the things I think people really get from me is conviction. And if they don't feel like they know it themselves, they email me, they call me, they ask me in the room. It's confidence. It's the confidence. Like it's the confidence that you need to risk your own money and do it over time. And of course, you have to have good money management. This is very basic. You do not have to be a brain surgeon to know that you can't risk your whole account in one day. You shouldn't let your spell spiral out of control. You should use stops. You should book trades when you're up. I mean, all of these are very simple things. Any questions here so far? We were just talking about this, use stops. I know there's people though in the room that don't. You know, it's their money, they don't wanna use stops. I think sometimes we stop in a trade we retake it and then people don't wanna put the stop in, but you know, I, I do use stops, to be honest with you. I have really since I started trading and, I, and, and I'm fine with doing a retake. Anyways, to make it in this business as a day trader, you can't lose a lot. That's part of the reason why you have to use stops and pick a fixed risk and keep that risk the same and, and, and really as close as you can to your trades. You just have to have more winners and losers. It's really that simple. It's the only way to consistently get ahead and make money. I mean, you're going to pay commissions if you're using ECNs. Now, you know, while a lot of uh, brokers now got rid of their own commissions, you're still paying the commissions on the ECNs if you're using them. You still could be playing a platform fee depending where you're at. You're still going to have some days when you lose. So you really have to be consistently up a lot. It's green, 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 green. You have to win more times than you lose. And that means you have to be right a lot. Okay, I've been doing this for, not forever, but what I feel like is a long time, long enough that I am right a lot. But my trading has improved I would say that I'm a lot better at reading the market than I was even five years ago or six years ago or seven years ago or 10 years ago. I'm very proficient in reading the market. A lot of times the things that I say the market's gonna do turn out to be true. Not all the time, but a heck of a lot. And let me tell you something, the market is one of the hardest things to read. I think really reading the market and predicting the market and by the market I mean the diamonds, the cues, the spy has really developed me into a very, very good trader. And I think being on television and appearing on television channels, whether it's Fox News, Ameritrade, it's helped me with that because I know people are listening to me and I have a lot of eyes on me and I also know the clips will be out there forever. 
There's clips I have on Fox News back from 2017. They'll be on Fox News' website forever. And so knowing that, it's really helped me to hone down on really trying to get as good as I can, and it's worked. I'm, I'm right a lot. I feel like I have to be, you know what I'm saying? But it's my 26-point rating system that has really helped me get to that point, okay? Any questions from anybody at all? My alarm's gonna go off in one second. I set my alarm for 5.05, so I don't forget. Hold on. there it just went off any questions from anyone listen email me at melissa the stockswish.com if you want to come to the room for this week you want to watch me in ameritrade kathy give everybody the link i'm going to pop on now and they're going to think that i forgot sorry to cut it short today people you learn a lot in the room this week if you want to come come and if you don't call me at 929 3200 uh gap and ask me questions I'm juggling a lot. Thank you, Kathy.